Hi, I'm Craig. I'm an OC, original colonist, and this is Mental Floss on YouTube. Today I'm going to answer Jacob Mitchell's big question, what did the original colonists sound like? Did they have a modern British accent? Let's get started. Every time I attempt a British accent, the commenters get angry. Don't get angry. So, it turns out that accents are pretty complicated things. Like when Jacob says modern British accent, he probably means what linguists call the received pronunciation, or RP. Or RP. There are a ton of different regional accents in the UK, but the Oxford English Dictionary defines the RP as the standard accent of English as spoken in the south of England. And that's what Americans typically mean when they say British accent. But let's be honest, Americans never talk about other countries at all. There's a flip side to that too. Americans have tons of different accents, but the general American accent is what the British person would call an American accent. They might not do this though. At that time, both accents were rhotic, like an American accent. Rhoticism means the letter R is pronounced in words like hard and park. In received pronunciation, that R sound isn't pronounced. Should it be received pronunciation then? Of course, there aren't any recordings from the 17th century, so we can't know for sure what British and American people sounded like. But linguists are pretty sure that both are rhotic because the R exists in those words, so it's probably supposed to be pronounced. Experts have also observed that it wasn't until the late 18th century that British people started to write words like hard or park while omitting the R for time in shorthand notes. I mean, it takes time to write that R, it's all those curves. So where did the modern British accent come from? According to the Cambridge History of the English Language, received pronunciation emerged in Southern England during the Industrial Revolution. People who were born into lower classes and then became wealthy developed the way of speaking so that they could set themselves apart from the social class they'd surpassed. The book states, London pronunciation became the prerogative of a new breed of specialists, orthoapists, and teachers of elocution. The orthoapists decided upon correct pronunciations, compiled pronouncing dictionaries, and in private expensive tutoring sessions, drilled enterprising citizens in fashionable articulation. So, if you ever see a movie or play that takes place in Britain before the 18th century, those characters should be speaking in American accents. Mind blown! Thanks for watching Mental Floss on YouTube, made with the help of all these nice orthoapists. If you have a big question of your own that you'd like answered, leave it below in the comments. See you next week.